Welcome everybody to the 2020 uh, Big Data Convention of the CGIAR. Uh, it's a pleasure to greet you virtually uh, because of course given the, this pandemic we were not able to come together under. There is tremendous change, a very rapid change in terms of the technologies, new technologies, remote sensors, uh, artificial intelligence, the capacity to really amass a uh, great amounts of data and bring them uh, you know, in a very effective way uh, to farmers. Uh, you know, digital transformation in agriculture is bringing the possibility to put in the hands of farmers uh, tools and information to help them with planning, with pest uh, control, with better agronomy, with access to finance, marketing, trading, etc. It's an amazing uh, revolution uh, that uh, can help us uh, you know, move forward uh, and meet uh, a significant number of developmental outcomes uh, in agriculture. And this is kind of the reason why the big data plan platform was conceived and creating, and we are seeing over time more and more uh, results of the work of CGIR scientists together with many partners uh, across uh, the industry. And this is uh, this convention will again be able to showcase some of these important uh, findings. So this digital transformation the, needs to be equitable. We really need to keep working for digital inclusion so we don't leave any uh, body behind and in the focus of our projects we really uh, take you know care and and and, and give a, an important emphasis to you know closing uh, this important gap but this is not only about mobile telephones drones machine learning and uh, all these other uh, things it's about uh, balancing all these uh, exciting gadgets with the needs of people. So that means that we need to address things like uh, privacy, um, ethical concerns, and also how we can be inclusive. So how we can uh, address the needs of the most vulnerable, uh, such as smallholder farmers and, and also consumers. So therefore, our work focuses on uh, democratizing uh, digital innovation. So that means that we work on, on tools by being uh, the real focus on uh, inclusiveness and, and also collaboration. So one example is our work on citizen science, where we uh, help with digital tools to uh, make farmers and scientists collaborate together around uh, trials to test new technological options on farms. Um, and this means that uh, we open up science to, um, to be much more inclusive, uh, to involve farmers in uh, finding out what are the best options and therefore make the whole innovation process much more, um, much more inclusive. We also work with policymakers to um, monitor food security and to develop systems that will allow uh, better policies focused at uh, vulnerable um, populations. We're also working with large companies to look at uh, where their food comes from and, and whether the food that they source affect the environment. Uh, mapping um, land use chains, looking at whether, for example, cocoa um, has an effect on deforestation in the, in the countries where it's grown. And that way we help uh, these companies to take much better decisions in, uh, in their sourcing strategies to avoid environmental damage. In all of these processes, what has been crucial is uh, an inclusive design process. So a lot of consultation with different stakeholders, also uh, feedback on prototypes that we present to uh, different stakeholders. Uh, in the end, it becomes a process of, of co-design where the, the final product is the, uh, is the result of a very strong collaboration. So the final goal of this is to help create uh, healthy digital innovation ecosystems um, that balance uh, public values, uh, private gain, but also uh, communal values uh, around uh, healthy food systems.
So this has been a year of digital dynamism. As an institution, the Alliance, we've learned that we have to use, be much smarter about the way we use digital means to do our work. So we're just at the tip of the iceberg of what big data and what digital agriculture can, can offer the world. Uh, I, we see huge growth potential in a number of, of avenues. One is artificial intelligence is transforming everything. Everything that we do, uh, uh, the functioning of the food system can benefit so much from better uh, leveraging artificial intelligence. The other game changer that we see is automation, and it's related. A lot of artificial intelligence behind it, but small scale automation to make field activity less drudgery and uh, more efficient, more productive. 2020, we've just been on a steep learning curve, learning how to use digital approaches for our mission, but we're just starting. It's just a drop in the ocean what we've learned this year. We really need to be forward looking, and that's why we've been supporting not only for the Alliance, but for the CG more broadly to develop a digital strategy so that we have a forward looking agenda that puts digital squarely in the way that we operate as an institution broadly. Um, so we need to really work on three things. One is the capacity, right? We need to build the capacity of CGIR researchers, the capacity of the centers to work on digital tools. Second, we need to be looking at the infrastructure. We need the right infrastructure to, to do these things. And then third, we need to work on the partnerships, right? As an institution, the CGIR is not enough uh, to, to de deliver on the mission of, uh, and really transform digitally. We need to be partnering up and looking to some of the real leaders in the field out there, both upstream in academia and downstream in terms of the amazing entrepreneurship that's going on in the digital uh, uh, ecosystem and partner up and work with them so that we are, as an institution, much more digitally smart.